And we go now to the surprise revelation in an Oakland County courtroom. Defense lawyers say they plan to call on the accused Oxford High School shooter to testify in his parents' criminal case. James and Jennifer Crumbly are both charged with involuntary manslaughter in connection with the deadly attack police say their son carried out in November. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette live in Pontiac. And Simon, this revelation coming as the Crumblies were trying to get their case moved out of Oakland County. Exactly, Glenda. Soon after the judge announced there would be no change of venue, we learned that the defense counsel actually had plans to call Ethan Crumbly, the accused shooter, to the stand to testify as a witness. Well, he can, he can answer questions that are not covered by the Fifth Amendment. So we can call him as a witness. We're going to call him. We, we need him to testify to information not related to his actual shooting. There are certain questions we would just not be able to ask. We, we do understand that. A dramatic moment inside court as defense attorneys for parents Jennifer and James Crumbly, charged with involuntary manslaughter, announced they plan to call their own son, accused shooter Ethan Crumbly, as a witness. Prosecutor Karen McDonald, also handling the case against the accused mass shooter, quickly responding. They want to call their son to, to, to somehow diminish, highlight his role instead of his parents. I'm just not sure how that's relevant. The Crumblies have maintained they had no idea their son planned to commit the deadly Oxford High School mass shooting last November. Today, the judge denying a motion for change of venue, but granting a defense motion to prevent further statements by both sides to the public. I can't allow that because then um, what's going to happen is then I am going to change venue. Also, a judge ruling witnesses can only be asked about firsthand knowledge and specific evidence for the October trial. The judge ruling journal entries by accused shooter Ethan Crumbly are admissible, but not all of his texts and videos from his phone. Prosecutors cannot mention infidelity, but can bring up parents' horse riding schedule to illustrate how much time they spent away from Ethan. Either side's going to be in a position to. Um, appeal any ruling I may. Motions to disqualify mention of messy condition of the Crumbly's home with alcohol and marijuana present, Ethan's Instagram posts and violent video games he played were all also struck down. Now, Glenda, we're expecting a lot more developments. Prosecutors and even Ethan Crumbly's own attorney could prevent him or try to prevent him from taking the stand as a witness. He could also potentially try and plead the fifth. Back to you for now. All right, Simon, thank you for the update.